to Marietta Esports, um, due to some unbeknownst reasons, we are already starting our Smash series off. Very, I'm um, sorry about that. Yeah, we can't really go over announcements at the moment or team roster because we just went into the game. Usually we start right on the dot, but it seems that our Smash team wants to get into this game bright and early. And, um... Well, maybe he's starting off and he's just... Uh, homie style? Are they just resetting? They might just be resetting the lobby I here. I think they are. Okay, okay so now Perfect. we can actually go back. So, let's, um... <laughs> we'll go, go back the introductions and all that. Go through introductions again. Very sorry about that. Um, so, I'm Evan. I'm Zach. And we'll be doing Marietta's stream for today. We're watching our Super Smash Bros. go up against Muskingum. Okay. That was a lag test. Ah, oh, so we oh, thought they were lag starting test, gotcha. immediately. No, no, That's no, great. no. They're, they're testing stuff. So, <laughs> no, you can still do your announcements and awesome. stuff. Awesome. Yeah, they're just testing to make sure that we're going to server issues. Lovely. Moving on. Sorry about that. We really <laughs> thought that we were going to get right into the game right now, but it just seems that it's going to be a test. So, we're going to be going on, and we're going to go over the... Um, we're gonna, uh, the roster first, I believe, is what we should be going over right now. Yes, we're going to go over the roster real quick. The roster. So, the roster for the Smash team today, was sat, and we're going to see all these people here. We're going to be seeing... Um, Riley Andrew. God, it is very hard to see those names, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I'm going to be going on. Yeah, Riley Andrew, Mavis. Oh my goodness, I'm going to butcher all these names. Yeah, that's fine. That's bro. a lot of people. We have 11 people on the Smash team, but I'm going to go over the starters right here. We need to see Zach Lano, and then we're going to be uh, going um, Zach Lano, and it's going to be Anava. Anava. And then it should also be Ryan here today. Ryan, but I uh, know Ryan actually will not be with us today. That's the person on top right here, um, Ryan Burgess. He's not here today. Don't exactly know who's going to be stepping up to fill his shoes, but we're going to have a lot of talent here on the Smash team today. So we've seen who else we're going to go in there. And now. Might be getting ready to get in, but real quick before it starts, we do want to give a quick thank you to HyperX. HyperX <laughs> is an absolutely amazing company that helps Marietta with um, all of their keyboards, mice, headsets, and mouse pads. They have helped us um, with a lot of our equipment so that we are able to stream as well with our awesome HyperX mic. Right there at that link, you can go and see HyperX. It's HTTPS colon backslash special hyperx dot gg slash marietta es also that bar um what is it qr code is going to be able to send you straight to that website and now going over to the match we're going to be seeing zach our starter playing up against a pyra mithra over here both at nine stocks starting up here. Could be seen Zach putting on the work already. 60% to zero. Already Literally. starting off strong just like he has in these previous matches. 75. I was watching him in practice earlier. His Mac was saucing, but ooh, can we be able to take a little bit of damage here? And now we can see Pyra. switch over to Pyra. That spam. Really good grab. Little Mac off stage is dangerous. He's able to get back on and tossed almost straight back off, but is able to get the block off. Now he has the KO punch. This is where Little Mac can instantly get a kill here, but he gets hit so far off stage. Little Mac has to be able to recover, and he just can't recover. You can see a little bit of frustration coming out of him there, but we'll just have to try and take as much as he can off these next few stocks. Yes, indeed, and we see him holding the shield at 90%. One touch from Little Mac could basically kill this Pyra. Mm -hmm. You can see a lot of good fast falls here from both players. Switches over to the Pyra again. Starts to get that spam off that really does some damage over to Lil Mac here. Um, just going over, uh, I don't think we really mentioned it, but this is going to be a rivals match. That's so sad That's to see that. Another stock gone already. Stock gone. So this is a rivals match against Marietta versus Muskingum. At the moment, they are rivals. Oh, We're going to see who can come out on top here today. Little Again, Mac just exactly. cannot hold the edge of the. Uh, just gets spammed out. Going over to the Pyra now. With that side B. Getting a lot of pressure onto the shield and onto the Little Mac. He's able to combo off of this. Not quite. That's going to be a counter. Does recover. 
Really trying here, playing it out. And that's going to be the first stock one. taken on the side of Marietta. Muskingum going down to now seven stocks. Eight, actually. Seven on Marietta's side. Eight on Muskingum. That KO punches up. He hit it. Can the weed. And he gets Holds knocked off. Reset it's again. Up. Almost that counter. And that's going to be so stage. close. He can't recover. He's and that's going to be that. the yeah. first round. And the first three stocks taken by Muskingum. So again, Pyramithra. It's just dangerous. Pyramithra has an absolute, a lot of good poke tools against a character like Little Mac. Just, there's just not enough range for Little Mac. Little Mac has to get so close, but Pyrate is just going to continuously keep you away the entire time. Yeah, it just gets super difficult to keep up. So we'll see. Switch over to Ginger Ale. Ginger Ale, I did see her play a little bit. Corin, that is one of her favorite picks. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see what she ends up taking here. Taking here, and also again, over we what do the have... choice for maps are, and we'll get right into the next matchup here. So right into this matchup, I know a bunch of different, different maps are going to be banned. Some of them are just banned by default, other are banned by the choice of the players. So again, this game is made for mainly for fun, so there's going to be a lot of cool different maps. So we're going to see a very competitive setting where we're going to be going into the different battlefields and different settings where maybe there's three platforms, two platforms, or no platform at all. No, no platforms is considered the Omega, and then we're going to have, um, actually usually we call that a Final Destination map, based on Super Smash Bros. Melee Final Destination. Yep, we see him just about ready to get back in here. On the corn, I do like the corn pick, it's able to deal with the Pyra Mithra just a little bit better than a little Mac is able to be able to deal with them. Yeah, I'm just going to have to see. Yes, indeed, we're going to have to see. So, as we wait here, let's um, think of, that was the weed, pulling out your strong, getting at least that one stock. That's as much as you can ask for against going up against the Pyramithra as a Little Mac. Again, definitely not your favorite matchup. And we're going to see the Corrin versus Pyramithra here. Hopefully, we can reset and get back to 6-6, six, six, going into the next set of matches here. Two stocks, all right. And start off, they're dancing around with each other. No damage taken just yet. There we go, gets a chunk of damage in. Immediately returned. Really good jab there. Able to get controlled. That's a good grab. We'll be able to combo off of it. No, Muskingum doesn't quite get the combo. We're going to see MC Esports poking around. Another grab. It's going to be a little bit of a combo there, but not much. 49% onto the Corrin. Ginger Ale. Trying to feel out the Mithra. Oh, very good play there. It's good mind game, sir. Be able to stab and then go the other direction. That's going to be another jab coming out. Now the edge guard from the Pyra tries to go for a counter. Doesn't quite get it. And now this could be a lot of poke from the Pyra. We see these side Bs. Really giant attack area. Look at that. Just hit both under and above the platform. That's a good parry, but Ginger Ale is able to play space here. Sitting on these platforms is very dangerous against a Pyra because they're able to just have such wide arcing sword attacks. And that's going to be the first stock mm -hmm. taken away. Marietta going to be down work. Five to eight. See, just feeling each other out. There's a big hit, big combo there from MC Esports. Oh, what a good. That was a great dodge right there. Now we're going to be seeing. Again, these combos just keeping her juggled. See how MC can approach this, switch over to the Pyra. Again, gonna be able to get so much damage on, and that side B again is just so oppressive. It's an edge guard tool. It can contest platforms. It's good for the middle ground. It's a really good spammable ability, as we see here again, almost with the edge guard. So just back over to the Mithra. See, Mithra is really good for this middle game where you're trying to get them off the stage right there as we see there. And that's going to be another stock lost by MC Esports. 8-4 to four at the moment with with a Muskingum leading by double the amount of stocks that Marietta has. Going to need a huge comeback here. See, one, one smash attack away from being able to get Muskingum off the map. 
but it's just so difficult to get the get it there when they're playing so fast and with these side beats just to play space truly you're not trying to go for anything up in the air because i know corn is just slightly better than there's going to be the pick that they need there we go marietta getting another stock on muskingum now it's really just going to come down to this last one who can take this if Marietta is able to get this last stock off of Muskingum. That's not going to be happening because Muskingum is going to go back with that dash attack. And that's going to be, again, down to the last player. Only three stocks remain for Marietta College, and they're still on Muskingum's first player here with seven to three stocks. Let's we'll see. Most likely, Anava come out as that final anchor in hopes of doing something here to recover yeah we're gonna have to see i know she likes to play the min min so the range is not going to be that big, big of, of a problem but what is going to be a big of a problem is that mithra is able to get in on that ranged character and again the edge guarding from pyra is just so good there that's one of the characters i never really got to play around with um pyra mithra because they came out a little bit after i stopped really getting that much into the game but from what i've seen Really, that side B is just extremely impressive. We're going to be going to Pokemon Stadium. Love this map. This map has so much history to it. Every time it gets pulled out, it just brings me back to the days of <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Melee. I wasn't around back then, but I sure know that that's when it started, and that's when Super Smash Bros. became really competitive. <laughs> For sure. You're seeing them take their time getting back into this lobby. See them start here momentarily. Yes, indeed. So we're just going to be sitting here in the lobby waiting for it to happen. And there we go. It seems that both players are ready. Both parties involved are ready to battle it out. This is going to be a tall task for Anaba here. For sure. Going to have to wipe out seven total stocks on just three of her own. That's almost now, two per one of you. We have seen it before. By the weed. We have seen it. So I'm pretty sure Anava can do it as well. All these players are really good on our Super Smash Brothers team. For have sure. Around 16 players to choose from. We chose our top three. Immediately becoming the aggressor there. Did not even taunt. A little bit of BM here from Muskingum, our rival. A little bit disrespectful, of course. Usually, it's kind of a handshake rule, it's not written anywhere, but usually you'd just be the one to taunt back and then you would start, but they didn't even wait. They went uh, straight for the kill. Already 104% for Anava. Well, they're starting to return to some back. of that. It's gonna be her off the stage again, the Pyra. Really good at edge guarding here. What a massive neutral be. You just see how it covers the entire screen. What a big hit there. 101%. Anava trying to use her range to her advantage. What a good smash attack there. Really Ooh. needs a quick reset here into this Ooh. next round. Does not want there to stay on this percentage off the map. any longer. There we go! And that's a per that's an amazing pick by Anava. Not losing a single stock to that Pyramithra. That's big, because now that 126% she's on immediately resets. That... Is an insane play by Nava. They're able to really go with that edge guard, really utilizing that, that Min Min's range, and got the perfect frame because the entire time that Mithra is dashing around, she is, has a hitbox, but it's hard to actually catch the hitbox. But when you're that far away, you're not really in danger of getting hit by that move. So if you're able to poke at it, like we saw the Min Min able to do, you just get the kill, just like that. You see the elation out of the players the second after that. Pyramithra is gone, and now we'll have to see what Muskingum responds with. As they say, it's comeback season. It's comeback season. Put your rally cap on. On. Always comeback season, and we're going for this W. Not the rally cap, brother. <laughs> Stop rally looking cap. at me like that. Ain't no way. It's that baseball rally cap. The baseball rally Ain't no way, bro. It's, um, it's, it's a classic. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, as someone who is a Guardians fan, you we there's not nothing helps. There's no, the, it's a Cleveland thing, you know. You got the Browns. Helps. The only the, the only Cleveland team that ever broke that was the Cavaliers in twenty 
15 through 2018, getting all yeah. the way to the NBA Finals four consecutive times. Yep. And Only then winning um, one. Yeah, but uh, the Browns and the Guardians just... They ain't it, Chief. Ain't it yet. <laughs> We've seen still a little bit of a pause going into Still rooting next. for the home team, of course, but as we know, can't, can't always be winners. <laughs> but we can win today. Marietta can make this comeback. We haven't, we haven't been able to see the other players from Muskingum. Yes, this is going to be a fresh sense of a jiggly, jiggly puff. puff. This could be deadly. For sure. Let's see. Again, Jigglypuff wants to get in close. Minmin wants to keep that range and be able to just knock your lights out with all of these smash attacks that she's able to do. Yep. Let's see. No stocks have to be lost here. So Jigglypuff going in aggressive, trying to get that grab. Doesn't quite get it though. Fifteen percent already. It's a very small there, map. Very hard combo. to keep that range on. That is cool. Trying as hard as she can though. Mm. There's a little bit more. The ground attack. Roll. Oh, the right into the rest. The read from Muskingum. Doesn't quite kill though. So Anava has a chance, but that's gonna be a dash attack to put her one stock behind. Jigglypuff is a very lightweight character, and Jigglypuff can go down at a moment's notice. Seventy-four percent now. One smash attack and curtains. Oh, the shield break! Almost a pound. That attack from Jigglypuff is so good at killing That's gonna be another wow. stop loss by this Jigglypuff. What an edge guard! What an edge guard indeed! This Jigglypuff, the combos float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The motto of a Jigglypuff floating around there on that platform. Anava not quite sure how to approach the situation. It's gonna be, again, look at that combo, 30%. Anava is able to make it back, gets hit again. Jigglypuff aerials are just so powerful since she's so floaty. She's able to easily get in, and that's gonna be Anava's last stock, and that's gonna be round one for Marietta. Muskingum gonna be getting that first point there. That is unlucky, zero to six here. Muskingum, we saw that their second player had this Jigglypuff. We actually still do not know the third player, what they usually play. Exactly. Zero to six. Now we can reset stocks and get ready. Get ready for the next game indeed, I believe as well. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Let me just clear that score. Yes. Not quite the score we wanted. That's not quite correct on the screen, but that is correct right there. But I put differently. So if you just click the that button, we'll then that should back make over it to better. Smash here, and that should fix that things up. There, there we go. go. That's what it's supposed to Silly look like. Silly goofball. Silly goofer as well. So. Uh, Marietta needs to come back strong in this round. We need to see that seven stock lead that we can get from Zach's Little Mac, also known better as the Weed. Need um, to see him with Marietta this Mac. Marietta Classic. The Marietta Classic, the Weed needs to pull ahead with this seven stock lead. We know he can get. Take down the Pyramithra, which is going to be a tall tale. Oh, yeah. So then he can go up against this Jigglypuff, which again. Against Little Mac, actually, Little Mac has a little bit of an advantage against Jigglypuff since he's such a lightweight. Little Mac can really go in and just do as much damage as possible. And really, those smash attacks with all that very short frame data and landing lag can really get the uh, upper hand here. But I'm going to be sitting here and just waiting for this map, the next map. Very specific start to the map. I still can't believe you have that hat like that. It's a rally cap. I don't want to hear it. Well, it's not rally season right now, so I'll, I'll switch it back. No, around. it's no longer comeback season because Marietta is going to win. There's no comeback to be seen against Muskingum. I really wanted to say, say, say. I know, I know what you wanted you to say. You know what I wanted to say. We're keeping it, we're keeping it nice though. This is a nice, friendly match between two rival colleges. For sure. We'll see what map they're gonna end up choosing here. Just going through, adjusting 
individual strategies and getting back in soon. We see them conversing with each other. See, um, usually I just put it to battlefield map, but we see that there's a lot of different maps in Smash that have little different advantages to them. Like one had being shorter, one having a slope on one side, one having two platforms, three platforms, moving platforms, all the different things that make Smash maps as good as they are and as diverse as they are. If everything was just small battlefield, then it'd be kind of boring to watch. Mm -hmm. Even though that's my favorite way to play, it's still boring to watch. Little Mac. Oh, Hanava is going to be the one starting Hanava's off this Hanava is going to be starting, and there, MC Esports has Hanava in first with the Min Min, and we're going to see Muskingum with the Mac. Let's see. So it's going to happen here. One character that likes to stay up and close versus Ooh, one that likes that range. 25% already. That's one smash attack. That is the advantage of playing Little Mac, is those smash attacks are deadly. Already, MC Esports is at kill percentage. For this little Mac here. A little bit of lag there, but getting right back in. Okay, Inava probably gonna have a harder time here with this Mac. Trying to keep the range on him, but it's hard when he's so fast. As we see there, Inava having her first stock go down. Marietta. Not exactly in the driver's seat after him. With 63% though, it is can, it can be made even very quickly. Inava, very good hit there. Making sure you can't do anything, but the KO punch is here. That's gonna be like a guaranteed 50% if he's able to hit it right here. And he tries to hit it, doesn't quite hit it. Nice dodge out from Inava. Again, just seen her try and keep space. It is it's so hard with those dashes. Oh, and that's gonna be a good 40% guaranteed there with the up tilts. That is frustrating. Seen a little bit of more of that. Oh my goodness. Another good chunk for Nava. Next time we have to update from a baked potato. Get a stream. Maybe we need to pour some Mountain Dew on it to get it refreshed. For sure. For sure. And that's going to be Dirt Degs, as it is called. Getting 82% on Nava. That was very scary. That's going to be the first stock taken by Marietta. Nava coming in strong here. 95% to 0%. So Nava is at kill percentage, but. Keeping the range with Min Min, that is exactly what we want to see here. Little Mac is fast on the ground, but slow in the air. The jab's going to send her up. Little Mac is not going to contest in the air because his aerials are, what you would say, not the greatest. Oh, here recovery. Just grabs. Had me worried there. Good 60% there, keeping that range with Min Min. Tether grab. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, Little Mac just able to recover there. Let it get Sin with the smash attack. Very fast, Already hard to predict. Already has that KO punch as well. Again, guaranteed 50% if he hits this raw without any percentile. Oh, he misses it again. So good capitalization. The landing leg on that move hit. is good. He can recover. No, he can't. And Nava nice shuts jungle. him down. We hear a <laughs> lot of banter from our team having a great time here as we see the excitement on the couch. All smiles here. Again, just keeps now. dashing. Ooh, 58% on the Min Min, 21% on the Little Mac, 80% here. That he can't contest the ledge. Min Min is too good at recovery that he can't really contest the ledge here without absolutely SDing. Very close there. What am I seeing? The absolute oh dodge God, of the, the century. Dance. Oh, breath. Holding my breath here. To counter, the KO punch, he has to hit this, Min Min dodges it, what an amazing dodge, Little Mac trying to get in here, that's a great smash attack though, 109% here, get it, there's a hit, another big chunk, chunk, okay, Navo gets oh. smash attack, able to recover, oh. at kill percentage here, Little Mac cannot contest, but no. that's going to be a Nava going down, how unfortunate, wow. that was so close, Marietta, coming back here, Making it good. Wow. How exciting was that? Now that is the start to the second round. Anaba coming in strong here. Usually the anchor was going to be the starter here. Going up against that Little Mac. And I do believe we are going to see Zach. My, it's a Little Mac versus Little Mac. The weed going in. The weed is going it's a, in. It's a test of skill. 1v1 me, bro. Can the Mac diff happen? I'm pretty sure well, with only one stock remaining from Muskingum, I believe the weed is going to make quick work of this, get on to the Jigglypuff, and then see what he can do. Mm -hmm. 
This does mean we will have Corin as our last eventual player. Yes, Ginger Ale. Unless a change is made. So is going to be going into a bit of mystery. Again, going back on the Pokemon Stadium. With getting, um, with having six players, um, I mean, 16 players, not just six, 16 players in the Smash Team, only three playing at a time, you have a lot of diverse skill to choose from here. You see a lot of these players working very hard to um, increase their character pool and get these characters to a level of competition. We see the weed working on this Mac. He is the most confident on the Mac, of course, but he has that Captain Falcon in the back pocket. The back pocket for I can't wants, wait yeah. to see it. Here's going to be the Mac duel. As we want to see, we usually call this the Mac and Cheese. Oh my god. It's usually not hey, what we call yeah. it, actually, but we're going to call it the Mac and Cheese here. To see a start. Now, we saw that there was no emote from Muskingum to start it off, so we'll see. Will Let's there see be some friendly here. banter? Okay, we'll be, hey, there it goes. Start. Off to the races. 23%. Gonna see the weed. Gonna be clobbering him. Get that up tilt. The air dodge doesn't get it. There we go. The side B. Not exactly what you want to do on the ground. A little neck, and there's gonna wow. be the down smash. So that side B again, getting him back on wow, stage. Ton the of weave. Absolutely on wow. the edge of your seat. The counter goes through. 46% of stock can be taken by Muskingum here. Doesn't quite misses happen that. though. Misses and that. And that's going to be him off. the weed keeping it clean. The Mac Diff has Look at been that little asserted. Dance. Look at him do his little dance. There it is. Mac Diff asserted. So we see 6-6 six, six going in. This is a great way to go into the middle portion of the second round here. Now we're going to see how is Muskingum University going to call back to the weed here on this Mac? Yep, we do get to see the Jigglypuff now, come out here. I really do hope that we don't get to see any ranged characters. I'm not going to name any specific ones, Simus, <laughs> that we get to see. Because yeah. I know that um, with the character pool that we have at the moment, on our starting roster that those types of characters could be a little bit... I, I'm trying to find a good word here for this. You have it, don't you? Pernicious. I don't know. I think that's the word, pernicious. I was wanting them to pick Final Destination, you know? Final Destination, bring me back. But of course, the music is mainly important. Oh, this is the number we gotta one get thing the important. Jam on. A Metal Gear song, of course, all these Metal Gear Solid songs are awesome. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at him. The dance weed around. is focused He's up. Himself. He is excited. He wants to bring this dub to Marietta against our rival, Muskingum University. Goofy fish. The goofy off fish, indeed. <laughs> you just had to say it. Now I have to say it. Exactly. So we'll see the what is most likely to be the Jigglypuff come out here to yes. start. Going back to the map selection, small battlefield. Alrighty. Okay, the weed will conquer. That is a correct K Shep. The weed will conquer all. We're gonna see six stocks be taken right here. The jiggles comes out. The weed, not a very excited about this, I'm pretty sure. Focus up, buddy. Let's go. Come on, the weed. Focus up. We got this. It's just a puff. 14%. Oh, the Immediately. work. Oh, the jiggly work. Come on, the weed. You can get this. Again, Jigglypuff can just keep all this range by floating away and just playing aerials. And again, Little Mac cannot contest in the air at all. His aerials are absolutely just not for it. Almost a shield break. KO punch already. 93%, 100%. All they need is a rest here or a pound. And that's going to be Little Mac's first stop gone. Oh my goodness, the Jigglypuff just playing in the air. There's the first jab, the first touch. Just holding it down. Jigglypuff just lets that hit her. See, oh, oh KO punch out of nowhere. Holding the smash attack. Jigglypuff almost walks right into it, gets the grab, hits him off stage, and that's going to be the first stock taken away from Marietta. Frustration be... coming out of Zack here. 46 to 0%, holding that smash attack. Nice block. A lot there. of good shield pressure on that down air. We're going to see from that Jigglypuff. Again, Jigglypuff, with all these short hops, just going to be able to easily keep range. You're going to see Pound has so much range as well. There's that back air. 
There's just so much to, to the Little Mac to block here. Jigglypuff has such good shield pressure. This is why we see Jigglypuff be pulled out so often in super high level competitions because she's just able to just keep this space and determine the, the flow of the game. We yeah, see 50. Little Mac just can't get a finger on her. That's going to be Little Mac's second stop though and he doesn't have his jump back. Little Mac trying to get something done, but this Jigglypuff is putting in the work. It's not up tilt. 62% can take one stock away. Very close. Jiggly is a lightweight. Able to get contested back on the ground. Mac is trying his best. Oh, he gets put to sleep, and there's going to be a rest. And that's going to be the third stock taken away from Marietta. That the hurts. sleep into the rest. That hurts. At some BM. From Muskingum. It's just so annoying, ain't it? Oh, you hate to see it. That's why Jigglypuff on that the, the the platforms are low on that stage, so Jigglypuff can just sleep you through the the platforms. And we saw that Little Mac landed on the platform and just instantly got slept, which led to a forty percent knockout. Yep. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, not what you can do about it. Now we're gonna have Ginger Ale come in against the Jigglypuff. This Jigglypuff Please. is intense. Are we ever gonna get to see the third player? <laughs> I think we did. I think the Little Mac actually was brought out to be the is the third player brought out to be Maybe. first because the Pyramithra might be the third one. That's true. Of course, That's we a... don't know. We don't actually know the players of Muskingum. Bunch of goofy offish. <laughs> The pioneers are gonna bring it home, though. So oh, yeah. we're gonna see music collection, of course, very important. Have to get in the correct mood to be able to play this game, and that's gonna be Ginger Ale going in against this Jigglypuff. <sighs> Sweating bullets here. Yep. Corin is not that bad against Jigglypuff, but Jigglypuff, if you know how to play this character, Jigglypuff can just dominate anyone else. Exactly. I'll have to see what happens here as we get started here shortly. There we go. Good dodge. Put that down air. Uh, into the up tilt, into the back air. The combo to 40%. That's kill percentage already. Then the pound comes out the up tilt. <clears throat> Jigglypuff so mobile. Look at her. Jumping around everywhere, able to float and with all these short hops and fast falls. You don't know what attack is going to come out next. See, almost off the stage. 6% on the Jigglypuff. Oh, there we go. But again, Jigglypuff. Look at that. Just across the entire stage with one aerial. Mm -hmm. This is what makes Jigglypuff so meta. Is that, look at that! Carried Corrin off the stage almost if that was Solid any other character, numbers. really that would have killed. Just barely able to live from that back air. Tries to counter the Jigglypuff who's edge guarding. Tries to do the get up attack. 12% on this Jigglypuff, now 19. There's gonna be that neutral B, and that's gonna be her thrown off the map. But that's gonna be the first stock taken from Ginger Ale here. Muskingum at a strong six. This is match point. If Muskingum wins this, and we're going to have a rather short game. Marietta has to come through on this. 19, only 19% 19 on this Jigglypuff. That move, I believe that's a side B for Corrin, is very good. There's that rest. Didn't quite get it. That's only a jab, though. That's a rest! So close! 90... About 100% here, just from that rest. Big damage, 46% on the Jigglypuff only. Gonna see a tall tail for Ginger Ale. Tall task, if they're gonna be able to get a stock off this Jigglypuff, start some good work there, getting them the 70%, but Jigglypuff able to recover very easily. Corn puts himself off the stage in SDs! Unfortunate. That's gonna be only one stock left to Marietta's name. The SD is so unfortunate. The down air skips so much pressure. Up tilt, back into a down air, into a side air. Into that forward air. Oh my goodness, the Jigglypuff combos up to 50%. You thought you started at zero, you started at 50. One touch means you're now at rest percent. This Jigglypuff going for that rest gets the back throw. 
Oh, and the, the carry off the stage into the wall. The DI was not able to go with it. And Muskingum pulls through and gets a, gets the W for Muskingum University. Let me back here just right now. We're going to be adjusting the scores, but um, final score, yes. Oh, uh, wait, yes. Let me put so that's the final score is... 0606 2 for the muskies and 0 for the pioneers not able to pull up the w that we wanted of course but that is just fine that pink marshmallow we tried to take them down but that's going to be an l for mary yeah. Edda. i believe that's going to be the second or third one of the year that's third game that is so the third oh and three is our ratio at the moment for marietta it's so so upsetting that we didn't get to see Marietta pull through against their rival, but hey, he had some, a good match there. You know, maybe Muskingum will learn some manners and not hit while we're emoting, but don't know, that'll don't be know. fine. So, real quick, we do have Valorant at 12 p.m. today, and in between these two games, there will be a league match going on that we might get the chance to go over later, but just due to overlapping games, we are not able to stream that for today. But... Uh, real quick before we go on break before the next um, the next match, uh, I'd like to say a couple of things about our recruiting. So yeah, our recruiting. So we do have multiple different titles for our game. We're always looking for new players. Yes, and we're deep into the first semester of um, our, our first semester of college year as our freshmen. And but we are still recruiting for 2024. So we have multiple um, big game titles. We have Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege. Um, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, and Valorant. If you are, uh, I believe, a senior in high school and you are really thinking about joining esports for a collegiate team, we have more information at you at that link you see down there at the bottom. We also offer academic and wellness support to try to make sure that our esports scholars are... Um, always up on their school because student is before athlete and then also esports scholarships are available yes esports scholarships esports scholarship tryouts are going to be happening this um this month on the 28th during the stem visitation day 23rd, 23rd? my bad 23rd put that on your calendar if you want to come here to marietta we're going to have um in-person tryouts as well as through discord if you are a couple states away you know yep. something also along those lines through discord but also next month as well we always have tryouts going on every month so from you know november october november going on we're going to be having these tryouts so anytime that you think that you want to go try out for marietta college to join one of our major league titles Go on ahead, take one of those um, QR codes or those links right there that you see and they'll lead you to more information, lead you to fill out all of the inquiry for all of your stats and then for the Discord, which you will need to be a part of. Exactly, so we're gonna go on break until this Valorant match, so be sure to check in at 12 p.m. as we see your Valorant take on Muskingum as well.